there. So I'm giving you now my fearless forecast for the Bilibiling Pilipinas 2019 crowns for this year. <laughs> of course this year is 2019. <laughs> It has been a roller coaster ride for all these beautiful ladies of the Pinipining Pilipinas 2019 on my list. And you can't blame me because it is a very crowded competition with the great beauties, gorgeousness. And because of that free speak competition, may ilang nawala sa list ko during my, during my previous hot picks. Meron ako ilang girls na tinanggal ko na. Because so prang dami nga. Unlike during Capriona Gray's uh, competition that she stood out. You already had this solid decision to pick Catriona Gray as the Philippines representative for Miss Universe or to Miss Universe. But now it is really very rich in ideal girls to represent the Philippines to not only to Miss Universe but to other international pageants. So it's still anybody's game. come up with my top 15. I had 18 initially but we have to come up only with 15 because that's the magic number to proceed to the crowns. Let's go. is Emma Tiglau. So according to my research, she is uh, the most veteran among all the 40 candidates. She had joined Bini Bini Pilipinas in 2014 and uh, was included in the top 15. She was Miss World Philippines 2015 fourth princess and uh, she was also 2012 first runner-up of Mukianan Pilipinas. Yeah and I think Siya yung tipong pwedeng pwede talaga mano. Manalo ng kahit anong crown. She can also be a representative to Miss Universe. She could also be ideal to Miss Supernational. Marami rin siyang lalamunin for sure sa Miss Girl International. Diba? So, I think she can be a strong representative of the Philippines to any international pageant. Okay, next is uh, Vicky Rushton. And I think she's the prettiest uh, girl that we have in this batch. She was also the prettiest last year, I think so. Katrian was not pretty, she was gorgeously beautiful. <laughs> the totality. And uh, I think it's Vicky Rushton's time to win one of the crowns. I just couldn't see herself winning the Miss Universe Philippines, but still, I believe that if ever she wins Miss Universe Philippines, she just needs a little training in her passerella and boost her confidence and bingo, she could well represent the Philippines at that pageant to Miss Universe. I think so. Aya Bizamis failed miserably during the free speech, but you know, she was confident all throughout her time, her answering time, and she made it to the top 10 of the national costume. She was very good during the press presentation. So I still believe that, uh, I'm very confident that she would make the top 15. Am I? <laughs> but if ever she gets a spot in the top 15, then she can still win one of the rounds. 
wounds and just and let's just pray that she you know undergoes communication skills improvement training blah 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 <laughs> Patricia McDonald is unquestionably leading in my lists Pinataob Shani and Arnold during my second hot picks because I based uh, my judging so Jabji in the national costume performance and I think I had no doubt that Hannah Arnold gave one of the most impressive performances during those two events and let us see later if I would still give her the top spot. <laughs> Just need to mug in. Uh, more, more for Patricia McDonald, I forgot. Um, I think she's got everything. Just a little Angus modeling, so, so can walk, but I think she, she has what it takes to be a representative to an international pageant. Saka konting dagdag sa, konting dagdag laman. <laughs> That's all I can say. I love the girl. Just a little mugging. Mm, she's got this exotic look. When she smiles, smile. You want to smile as well. I believe she would give a great competition. Kapag nakasama siya sa top 15. Eileen De Vera. She is the Miss Asia Pacific International of 2017 fourth runner-up. She had uh, impressed me during the press presentation and the free speak competition. And the next one is. Julia Silvier. Hmm. I'm not a fan of her beauty. Hindi ko masyadong gusto sa girl. Yung walang slit yung mata dito. And maraming girls na aminado na gusto rin nilang magkaroon ng ganun, diba? Parang plus factor. Para mas magiging maama ang dating mo. Para mas maganda kang tingnan. So maraming mga nag-undergo ng surgery. Or may mga nabibili na ngayon mga instant, di ba? Lokan-lokan, ilang mga hapunesa at mga koreana sa mga ganyan, I think so. Issue yun ng mga 10 years ago. Marami mga uh, Asian girls ang nagpapagawa talaga. O gumagawa ng paraan para magkaroon ng slit. Yung mga mga mata. So yun. So kailangan matakpan niya ng makeup. She looks better kapag naaayos yung kanyang mata. She looks strong. In some angles, but undoubtedly, she gave one of the finest answers during the free speak competition. Ano lang, konting pukpok sa ano, sa marketing. <laughs> Ilang mabenta siya as a beauty queen, as a gorgeous, sexy woman, hindi bilang isang declaimer or isang babaeng hose magsalita. Dapat team up yung dalawa. So, maraming kulang, and then some people told me that she really didn't have or she really doesn't have a trainer what a pity she should have gotten one it's a must when you're joining pageants so i really don't believe that there's no one assisting her maybe it's not just uh, a group of people like a camp but i believe that there is someone who takes care of her of course jessica marasikan she's pretty and i was so impressed with her speech delivery during the free speak segment. It's not that the content is so amazing. It's not that it's, it's a very intelligent answer. It's just that, you know, the way she speaks. I was not aware that she could speak that way. So I really didn't have a background of her. Maybe I was not that interested. I just thought that she's a, an aspiring actress. I really didn't follow her. Now, well, as well as, I didn't get around in the movies. And essentially, Umaarte or what? So, I really didn't exert so much effort in discovering her further. So, na surprise talaga ako. Yun ang nagbigay ng malaking surprise sa akin because I didn't know much about her. Next is Gazzini Ganados. So, she's one of my favorites because I believe that she is a shoe in to any of the six major awards or six major crowns. She deserves a spot in that magic circle. Um. She has this exotic beauty, uh, an international beauty, if there is a term like that. She is the bombshell of this batch. You know what I mean? 
She has this whistle-baked figure and she has this great sex appeal and X factor. I just, initially, I really didn't like the way she smiles, but it has definitely improved in recent days. I think she's getting stronger and stronger as days go by. So, if she didn't make it tomorrow, then it might have something to do with her answer to the question that's going to be given to her. But witnessing how she answered, uh, or how she gave an explanation to what she got during the free speak, I think she could handle the interview very well. So good luck to her. It's already evening, <laughs> and I haven't finished yet. <laughs> so pardon me. Next is, where is it? Rasham Saeed. Rasham Saeed was one of my uh, top six favorites during my first uh, Hot Picks edition. And uh, she was really a great beauty. And uh, I think she has uh, been giving or showcasing a lot of improvements lately. She has lost some liters recently, but I think she's uh, recovering, returning with a vengeance. <laughs> I still believe that she uh, could make it to the top 15. Next is Anna Arnold. She is a statuesque and charming young lady. I want her to win one of the crowns, but in case she doesn't, I hope she's given this runner-up finish, or, or even none at all. Look at the uh, words back. She came back after not making it big, but I am very optimistic that she might clinch a runner-up position, if not a major title. And considering that she is one of the most popular candidates this year, she might just win Best in National Costume and other minor awards that are based on popular voting. Who knows? Okay, next is Samantha Bernardo. As what her defenders have been saying on social media, her answer was not incorrect. It was correct. It was right. That's how she felt. That's what she felt. Or, I mean, that's what, that's what she feels towards her local government uh, or the local administration that maybe they have made Palawan uh, one of the best uh, provinces in the whole country, that they have done something good for the province, that, they, that the people of Palawan have, you know, experiencing a lot of, uh, how do you call this, uh, economic development and stability and peace and good governance so you know that we should not blame her for the answer because she's just telling what is right what's happening but that's what I've stated in one of my videos I think you should not go for sometimes in pageants you know sometimes you should not go for what you believe is right or even if it is really right but go for something which is also right but it's a um, popular choice yeah that's safer one great example is that answer of Nicole Cordovis and Mr. Intercontinental. Had she chosen Clinton over Trump, I think it could have been a different story. She could have possibly won. I think so. You're competing. You want to win. So be wise. I don't like it. it. But it doesn't mean that it's wrong. It doesn't mean that I contradict it. It doesn't mean that I oppose it. It's, it's, it's her right to say what, what she thinks is right. You see. So there is democracy. <laughs> and we should respect that. So, whatever, it is not a good answer for me. And I think my Joe, simple ang arrive niyo doon. But it can never be denied that together with Aya, they have been, you know, presenting themselves in a, in a regal way. Sophisticated. They've been coming out in all events in, you know, in great aura. You know, that's why I still believe that they have a chance of uh, winning some crowns yeah, amidst all these uh, uh, negativities that have been surrounding them for the past uh, week. I think so. I just don't like this hair flipping, hair tossing, you know, mode na laging ginagawa ni Samantha Bernardo. Hindi pong tama ni isang hampas bago nang doblihin pa! You know, she always does that. You know, that's the only thing. I think so. She's pretty. Yeah, I hope she wins. And let's remember, it's not, uh, I mean, the interview. It's not all there is to winning this Pilipinas crowns. Don't ever forget that. 
Samantha Love. Mm, she has climbed to my rankings in recent days. At first, I didn't like her. Well, you know me, I am always trying my best to be very honest in, you know, in saying what I feel, you know, based on what I see. And uh, whether we don't agree with this or not, I find her a little bit masculine. She, she really looks manly at some angles. But her best asset is her eyes. I like her eyes. And I think she is an intelligent woman. So that's the only negative thing that I see. Is that she looks big, she looks masculine, and I think it wouldn't help in any way. I'm not body shaming, I'm just telling what I see. And he doesn't always shine or stand out in groups. So I hope she could still do something to overcome that and come off as soft as possible, as feminine as possible. But I think Samantha Lo has a great chance of making it through to the final, to the final round. I think so. The next one is Lauren May Bautista. She is uh, a natural beauty. Very pinai, if there is such a thing. Very pinai. <laughs> Anymore. I think she has given a fairly good presentation during the free speak competition. Plus, she is armed with an international crown. And that is Miss Tourism Queen of the Year International in 2015. The next one is Malka Shaver. Well, I'm not really a fan of that kind of beauty, you know, uh, but don't get me wrong. She is a pretty woman and she speaks well. She had a nice answer. It might not be perfect. She might not have convinced others that she had uh, a fairly good answer, but for me it was kind of okay. And uh, I think she has a better chance of making it through, so I chose her over Cassandra and Nicole. Cassandra Chan. Gusto gusto ko yung kanyang ano, mga posing. Ballerina and ballerina. As she is a ballerina. But she just, you know, she just explains her answers. I, I have watched some of her videos and she's just so animated. Like, when she's talking is, you know, <laughs> everything moves. But, yeah, she is well poised. Another one is uh, Miss USA Philippines, Nicole Guerrero. Yes, she is Jean Nicole Vaguilar. Girel. She's a great beauty. She speaks well. Of course. Uh, it's just that she just didn't impress me during the free speak. But, well, we have Gafford and uh, Megan Young, who were part of the jury when she won uh, Miss, US, Miss, US, Miss USA Philippines, so she might have this kind of X factor on stage. I, you know, I have yet to see that. <laughs> but, who knows? But you know, I really love Gideon. But we have to we had to choose only one, so pardon me if I didn't get the right one. <laughs> okay, so with all these fifteen strong and crown worthy candidates, it is really very complicated, very difficult, very stressful, very 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 <laughs> It's a mind boggling moment. But you have to choose only a magic eight. Anghirap Telaka. Especially in my case that I am, or I have been forecasting or giving my assessment to all of you regarding, you know, who could possibly win. I've been doing this for the past four years. This is my fourth year and I think this is the right time for us to once again view my choices for the past three years. Let's go. I'm beginning to like her and I think she'll be, and I think she'll be. proceed to some of my friends' choices. It is an annual tradition. 
I invite some close friends in the pageant world, particularly, to give their own choices. Let's go. Sasabihin ko sa inyo, pwede si Pats Magtano, pwede si Vicky Rushton, pwede si Gazzini Canados, pwede si Emma Tiglao for, for Miss Universe. At iba pa, in my top 15, 10 of these girls are strong enough to clinch a title. But we only have six, you see? So it's just a matter of luck. And it is not us, the vloggers, who proclaim our winners, but also you. Lahat tayo ay gumagawa ng ating list. Swerte lang kayo. <laughs> hindi na namin makikita yung choices ninyo kapag hindi nyo comment But kami, kitang kita. So, I'm sorry. If I fail you, those people who expect a lot from me, because it's really an epic fight this year. Hindi pong kahit sino sa top 15 ko, pwedeng manalo. Or baka nga may pa ako. <laughs> so whatever, thank you very much for joining Robot Views. And here they are now, my magic eight. Two runners up and eight major winners for the Philippine Filipinas pageant 2019. Here we go.